stay tuned for the recipe for these kolachki style jam filled cookies with no cream cheese. Is this not the cutest silicone baking mat you've ever seen? This is the cutest silicone baking mat I've ever seen. <laughs> Today I'm going to be making cookies and I'm going to be trying out this new silicone baking mat set while I'm making cookies. In this video, I'm going to show you what comes in the package, demo it for you, and give you my honest opinion. The seller did send this to us in exchange for a video. However, all of the views and opinions in this video are my own. So in the package is this adorable silicone mat that is quite large. I mean, it gives you a ton of workspace. You're also going to have a silicone uh, rolling pin also with cute little artwork and you're going to have a bench scraper and all of these have measurements on them which will make your life a little easier I think okay so we're going to be making my version of kolachki cookies today and they do not call for cream cheese because I do not like cream cheese so first and foremost we are going to cream the butter and the sugar in our mixer. I'm using Cuisinart mixer. I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm using four sticks of butter and one and a half cups of sugar. As much vanilla as you want. They say to do this in another bowl, but I never ever do this in another bowl because I don't follow directions. Even though baking is like an exact science, I don't follow directions. So I'm going to add gradually five cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. But I'm gonna start with one cup of flour and we're gonna work in from there. That's more than half a teaspoon. Mat is so cute. I almost don't want to mess it up, but I have to. Oh, give them flour. They're treats. <laughs> oh, it snowed. I snowed on them. Okay, so we are going to sprinkle this with some more flour and we're going to roll it out and separate it into manageable pieces. I love that this is not getting all over the counter. Normally, when I do this, it's all over the counter. And now it's all over the mat, which can be easily like taken outside and hosed off. This uh, rolling pin is better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, normally I use a wooden one with handles, but uh, this one is quite nice actually. Okay, let me cut this into pieces. Oh, and this guy is super cute. He actually does, He ha he's shaped like an elephant. Oh, and it cuts really lovely also. And an elephant never forgets. Look at that. One, two, three. Overall, I am really, really impressed with this set. The rolling pin worked way better than I thought it was going to. It didn't stick at all. Um, I did add some flour to make sure it didn't stick. The um, bench scraper is absolutely fantastic. And the mat made it so that this mess is going to clean up so much easier than the stuff that always gets stuck to the granite countertops. Okay, so now we have chilled the dough. I'm gonna just kinda give it a little bit of a time to relax now that it's nice and chill. This one needs to be a little bit thinner using our little bench thing. Thirty squares and five things, so we need six of each flavor. Pinch the top, put it on the cookie sheet. Each batch of these takes about 10 minutes in a 375 degree oven. You might want to check on them a little sooner if your oven runs hotter than mine.